What's going on, everybody? This is Extra Gravy. You can call me Diarrhea because I run shit. Call me Swiffer the Sweeper because I stay dusting that ass. You see how I wait by the steps? Um, when I spawn at Seaside, um, I'll rush the A spawn and I'll come right where I was looking. So when I start on this side, I just counter that and make sure they don't rush our spawn. I immediately come to this building and make sure nobody's coming to B. If they are, I shoot them in the face. If not, I go on about my business. Now, I seen that guy up top. And I want to go out there and get into their spawn and start wrecking shit. I don't want to come out and get shot in the back. So I take my time. And uh, actually, I you know I feel like this was pretty lucky. But check this shit out. One faggot. Two faggot. Three faggot. And another number one faggot. Fucking ridiculous. Four dudes just chilling up there. Their thumbs up their ass. Doing absolutely nothing. Um, but, you know, at this point, I don't know where they're coming from. Because I know they're still spawning over here. And um, like I said in my old video, I don't like to use the SR-71 or the Blackbird until I get my first set of dogs. But at this point, you know, I'm in their spawn. I don't know where they're coming from. So rather than, you know, taking the chance of getting the dogs, you just got to know when to use it. But typically, that's what I like to do. But in this case, you know, I felt that I didn't know where they were at. I felt I had a better chance of dying than getting my dogs at that point because I was in their spawn. So I call it in, and it ends up working out for me because I do get another uh, I do get another set of dogs, you know, after this. Um, I in this game I think 86 and 6 and uh, the game doesn't run on very long at all uh, if it would have ran on maybe this team would have got 150 points 140 points easily would have had 100 kills and this happens to me twice I don't know why the hell I have Estrella because if you know extra gravy I don't shoot shit down fuck that I ain't got fucking my business fucking nope I don't have no business shooting shit down it's just how I am if you don't like it sorry but uh, I don't know why that Strella's up. I can't lock onto their face, so it's not doing me any good. And it happens to me twice in this game. That time, yeah, that time was kind of lucky. Um, but the, the first uh, or the second time it happens in this video is absolutely very lucky. And that's the only reason, you know, if that day, if I if I got killed there, I definitely wouldn't have had this game. But I call in my first chopper. Choppers actually do pretty good on WMD, um, despite there being a lot of buildings. And I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why. I figured that, you know, he's seen me shooting and he'd have shot me by now if that was an enemy. Um, but he didn't. And uh, so I thought it was a teammate. So I just ran by him. Went on about my business and it fucked me over because he killed me. But, like I said, if uh, we were in a triple cap so long in this game, you know, I definitely would have had, you know, 100 kills. Um, I, is this where I get lucky? I don't know. I get lucky a lot. But <clears throat> I'm just rushing to spawn now. I, I, I like when they have C spawn because they usually spawn inside the building and back in that left corner. Uh, to me, it's a little bit easier to maintain. Uh, when they're at A, they're a little more, um, you know, they could be cut. There's so many different ways they could be coming from. So, but that's just my preference. Some people are different. So, I, I hear we're losing Charlie. Come back and get this guy. Because um, clearly nobody else is. And he dolphin dives right into my bullets, which is fine with me. I'll take any free kill I can have. And look at this guy. Again, sitting up there. What are you doing, dude? Didn't get him. But it's just, I, that's one thing I don't understand is when they make the maps. I understand you have to make them for all types of players. But for instance, like on Arkadin, when you come up in Modern Warfare 3 on Arkadin, when you come up the escalators and there's a little cubicle right there that you can jump into, why put that there? Like, it's bad enough you can head glitch behind it, but you put it where people can crawl into it, it's like, come on now. It's like, why? You're just going to piss people off. I don't know. I just think that shit like that is it's irrelevant. It shouldn't be in the game. Here's where I get lucky again. I don't know how the hell he didn't kill me. But I get lucky there and I end up getting another set of dogs, but... Um, yeah, my house, man. Oh, my God. I was so pissed. I had a house. I put a contract in on the house. And uh, everything was going good. You know, the money was cool. He lowered the price. They lowered the price. And, that, and that's when I put the offer in. The interest rate actually dropped, too, which was awesome. So I go to put the contract in. Everything was, you know, fine. He said he wanted to do an as-is contract, which if you don't know what that is, it means you have to buy the house how it is. They're not going to fix anything, which sometimes is good, sometimes is bad. You know, it, it's no big deal, whatever. So I was like, okay, that's fine, not a big deal. Uh, when you, you know, when you're buying a house, you have to get it inspected, uh, make sure everything, you know, the structure part of the house, all the mechanical parts of the house are all okay. Um, but what he wanted me to do, he wanted me to get the inspection done, and once I got that inspection done, if something was wrong or something was, you know, damaged or not working properly that I didn't like, I couldn't walk away from the contract. I had to stay with it. And this is from, you know, this isn't a bank-owned house, which um, I think my real estate agent told me that, you know, bank, bank, when the banks own them, they do sometimes do that. But it was a straight sale from another customer or from another uh, person. And he said, if I get the inspection done and something's wrong, I can't walk away. I have to stay with the house, which is like, why in the hell? That's like picking a house without even seeing it and buying it. That's ridiculous. I'm not going to do that. 
Like the house was in decent shape and things like that. It didn't look like anything was wrong, but you never know. That is way too big of a risk to take on $150,000. That's ridiculous. So, yeah, I, I had to turn it down, so I declined that contract. Went looking at other houses on Sunday. This is so fucking stressful. It is just ridiculous. And look at this guy. Not playing the objective. You're losing by $175 million. But um, it's so stressful. But I went and looked at other houses, and I did find another one I like. Um, it's a small house, but it's only going to be me. Um, I do have like 65 bitches that, you know, might come over. <laughs> nah. But uh, it's just me, so it's not a big deal. Small house is fine. Um, and it was really nice. Everything was redone. So I'm going to put a contract in on that, I think. And then, uh, you know, we'll have to see what happens. But, you know, uh, here comes the end of the video. If you want to see some more Black Ops, just let me know. Uh, peace.